afternoon friends really good to see you all again i hope you're all well it is saturday afternoon coming up to 10 to 3. um apologies i haven't vlogged all week i know shocking i was planning on vlogging on tuesday and wednesday um but completely forgot to take my camera out like a doofus that i am um but it's great to see you again i hope you're all good it's great to be vlogging and chatting to you legends again so today this afternoon i thought um we would do a follow-up to the um, elite trainer unboxing that i did a week ago and uh, just let you know my initial thoughts i've been using it every day since last saturday um yeah i'll just give you a quick setup of how i install the bike on it and uh kind of like my zwift setup i guess so Let's do this. From the opening shots of this vlog, you would have seen this beauty. One thing I will say, it's quite heavy at 20 kgs. So you do need kind of two hands to lift it. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I've loved using it. It's really opened up um, Zwift. Um, to me this last week that probably sounds a bit odd but it's so much more realistic uh, those of you that use a um, indoor trainer like this will know exactly what I mean compared to the uh, basic trainer that I used to use just over a year ago um, it's like night and day it's uh, it gives you so much more when you're riding on Zwift yeah so here it is uh, one thing I will say, the legs that you pull out are quite, I mean, it's a heavy, it's a heavy unit. They are quite stiff and you'll need two hands to um, pull them out and lock them in position. Let me just show you. So that one's locked. There you go, so there it is with the uh, two legs locked in place. It's very sturdy, it's really well built. It's a it's an absolutely cracking piece of kit, I have to say. Um, if you saw the unboxing vlog last week, it already comes fitted with an 11.32 11-speed 11 cassette. All you have to do is... Um, Put the skewer in so for my tcr i use my uh, tcr advanced sl on the um, elite C suto um, so all you have to do is get the quick release skewer yeah so all you have to do is get the skewer fit that into the uh, trainer um, you just got a washer there you've got the springs and the uh, one end you've got the tightening mechanism with the lever and then you, the other end you've got the little um, bolt uh, just as you would have on an usual normal quick release um, skewer on your bike it does come with uh, through axle um, bits as well so if you've got a through axle bike it will work on this trainer as well it comes with all those parts ready so that's all the setup you have to do to uh, get your bike on the trainer. Let me just show you. We'll get the TCR. Okay, so there is the TCR all attached to the Elite Suto trainer. All very easy, all very quick, pretty painless, all done. There she is, all ready to go. 
what I'll do is I'll just plug in the trainer just so you can see how um, easy and quickly it is to uh, pair up with Zwift. I will show you as well, this is something that I just found in the Shed of Wonder that Stevie Wonkster very kindly gave me over a year ago now. It's an iPad, it's a tax iPad holder for your bike, just attach it to the handlebars. I just had to take off my um, light, my cat eye vault light bracket just to attach that, just so you could see. I'll just get my iPad now, ignore all that washing. Um, I'm just gonna get my iPad and show you what it looks like on the bike. There is the iPad on the tax mount. So you can pedal away on Zwift and uh, look at Zwift in such a great position as well. So I have two options when I'm Zwifting now. I use my iPad on here, or last week, before I found found this, I brought a um, like a bandstand thing from Amazon. I'll show right, you. so this is the, uh, the bandstand. Um, it's not a bandstand, you know what I mean. It's a... Um, music sheet holder type thing. Uh, 20 pound off of Amazon. You can adjust the height. It's um, it's really good actually. I mean, this is huge for an iPad. Let me just show you the size. Idea. So there you go. The iPad sits on there and you can have that in front of your bike. You could even have your phone next to it as well. And Zwift away whilst um, riding your bike looking at your um, iPad or other such tablet that you may have so that's excellent as well I'm going to give this a go uh, maybe tonight see what that's like because it looks pretty darn cool as and well. I also am very lucky enough to have uh, Apple TV so I've got Apple TV I've got the Zwift app on there so I can use the big TV on the wall um, a couple of times I've used that this week is when um, maybe late at night when everyone's gone to bed or there's no one actually in the house at the same time so I'm not disturbing them taking up the whole TV Zwifting. Right I've just plugged the uh, trainer in to the mains guys. DJ's back from his walk. Let us sort the iPad out. Access the Swift app. There you go, click on my name. And there you go. All ready. All ready to go all ready to ride on Zwift absolutely superb right and then so that's on the iPad I will just show you on Apple TV we'll just switch that on there you go it's so honestly friends it's absolutely brilliant on the big TV connects up exactly the same way to the trainer there you go all ready to go. It's brilliant. Just use the Apple TV remote. And there you are, just watching L. Zelensky. Cracking stuff. So friends, that is my new Zwift setup. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
as I mentioned earlier, it's opened up and really enhanced the whole Zwift experience uh, for me, being on an indoor trainer. It's brilliant. I would highly recommend the Elite Suto if you're in the market for a new indoor trainer. I am loving it. I've only been using it for a week. I've used it every day this week. Um, it's been awesome. I entered a race last night which was really tough going. I think I finished last, but it was a superb experience. And I've also signed up to the Swift Power uh, website. So your um, race results are put into like table format kind of thing. Um, I think I did another race on Wednesday or Thursday. I can't quite remember. It was equally as tough, but it was really good fun. Absolutely loving it. So um, yeah. Legends, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome weekend. Look after yourselves. If you manage to get out and ride, stay safe out there. We were meant to be doing a 100 mile ride tomorrow down to Richmond Park and Box Hill and back. But um, because the weather is so pants um, down here in the south of England, we have southeast of England, we have postponed the ride. So more than likely, I will be on Zwift at some stage tomorrow. If I am, um, and uh, any of you are free, it'll be great to ride with you. I'll put a post up on the FCC Facebook page and uh, Strava page. Um, I'll see you in a couple of days with another vlog. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.